So let's talk just a little bit about what does it mean to have a learning disability in written expression. So I'm going to give you guys just, you know, a minute to read that definition. This definition is really just telling us what written expression is and how it impacts a student. And so um, it could be any one of these areas about how they use detail or there may be uh, kids who have trouble with sequence or, or how they have trouble with varying sentence structure um, or they have different um, issues with different literary forms. So there really are two levels of writing difficulties and those are around transcription skills and then composition and expressive writing. And so we have some kids and that may be your our younger kids, but even when I was teaching special education, I had some middle school students who had some trouble with uh, letter formation and legibility. And, and you all might have that same thing too, but, but I had one student who, um, he was LD in reading and in writing and he, um, he could not, he just could not, you couldn't read what he wrote when he did write it, but, and, and then he struggled. It was just very pained letter formation. But he also had this visual spatial issue as well. But so he had really hard time looking at something and then transferring that thinking to um, his own paper. Uh, then we have kids who have trouble with spelling. Uh, and then when they struggle with spelling, you know, we also, they also have some other pieces of that, which would be, you know, they don't have um, good sentence structure, they lack details. Um, they are not able to identify a theme. So those are all really skills that, that, are, that could possibly be a deficit. So you may have one kid on your caseload who is, uh, has, a, is, uh, has a writing disability and, and they need to work on handwriting or they need to work on legibility. And then you may have some children who need to work on spelling and then you have some that working on composition. The thing that is the most difficult, it seems for us as special educators is really to narrow down what that skill deficit is and really pinpoint that so that we know how to structure our lessons around uh, what that deficit is and how we can move those students forward. But you know, we have kids, and I know you guys see this all the time at the middle school level, kids having trouble identifying a topic, right? Because they lack that ability to organize, to think and, and organize that in their mind. They lack that skill. And so that's why we sometimes have to teach them how to use tools to help organize or to frame their thinking around the topic. And then we also have kids who have trouble writing down ideas. You know, they're really hard to, th they have a real hard time to think through those ideas and it takes, it's just very labored for them to write that down. And there's an article on this page here that talks about dysgraphia and really dives into what that dysgraphia really means. So when we have students who have concerns in that area of written expression, it's somewhere around this. So you get back those written reports and you'll have some information around, uh, you know, if it's a fine motor problem, if it's a language problem, if it's visual spatial problems, or if it's attention and memory problems. Kids could have more than one of those areas, uh, but I can, you know, our kids that um, are other health impaired, I know they oftentimes have trouble with attention and memory and organizing their thinking. And so the strategies and supports that you provide for students with exp written expression can also be some strategies that you can teach those students who have trouble organizing and capturing their thinking on paper.